Right now on Two Cock Sport Fishing TV, Captain Jack Carlson has a client looking to do something a little out of the ordinary. He wants to handline one of the ocean's toughest predators, the Goliath grouper. Ready to do this? You gonna get that handline out? With fish weighing in at over 500 pounds, the threat of danger is very real for what Matt is wanting to attempt. Whoa, that's bigger than a smart car. Along for the ride is his dad, who at 70 years young is checking fish after fish off his bucket list. That might be my, my first keeper size. For Captain Jack Carlson and the Two Conk Sport Fishing crew in Marathon, Florida, the grind continues. You gotta make sure you get it in there. You gotta get them fishing. You gotta stay on them. My name is Captain Jack Carlson. This is my tackle shop. And this is my fleet of yellow fins that make up two conch sport fishing charters here in Marathon, Florida Keys. I work here with my son Austin, who runs the 39. Crazy Captain Mike Macko, who runs the 34. And Captain Cam on the 26. My wife even has her own store right down the street. And the one thing I've learned after doing this for 22 years is you never know what's gonna happen next. Look at them swim around, they're beautiful. This segment is brought to you by Beach Marine Products. No pills for you. Oh, a lot of meat. Oh yeah, big baits too. The world's finest bait pen systems. It's a hot summer day down in Marathon, Florida. And Captain Jack's just finished up another day of action on the water. Things are a little different around here after the hurricane. But the grind goes on, especially when repeat customers like Matt, AKA Swamp Mafia, and his dad, Catfish Ken from Texas, are coming back to town for a week of fishing with one main goal, handline a Goliath grouper. So Matt, now what got you into handlining fish? You know, I I'd, uh, saw a little internet video of someone doing it and I thought that was for me. Awesome, man. I mean, because it's amazing. If I've fished with you before, yeah. I've seen what you know, what you're capable of. Doing what you do, it's insane, too, because you, you can lose a hand. Yeah, there's, a there's lot some, can go wrong. There's a lot of dangers involved. You can get a rope wrapped around your hand, you're pulling line on the boat, you get it wrapped around your foot. You know, these are, you know, multi-hundred pound, very powerful fish, and there's, there's some real dangers involved about getting pulled over overboard, getting stuff twisted around your hands, your fingers. You gotta be, you gotta be careful. Absolutely. I think it's I'm not for to, everyone. <laughs> Absolutely. I think I'm gonna have to check my insurance policy yeah. to see if it covers that. <laughs> now that Captain Jack's been able to catch up with Matt on tomorrow's charter goals, he has more fish to clean before getting to spend a little time with the family. The day doesn't end with sunset for this business owner. The boats need fuel. There are more calls to make. We're probably going to have to get somebody with some heavier equipment in there. <laughs> and before Captain Jack's ice melts in his Yeti, it's time to do it all over again. See, I started out with a small boat, but I kept watering it every day, and they kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Morning, Jack. You ready for the day? Morning. Ready, man. Awesome. Ready to head out back in the golf? Let's do it. Good to see you guys. Jack actually sponsored a free trip for a prize at a little fishing competition for a group I was in. And uh, I won the competition, came down here fishing, and figured since we were down here fishing, coming all the way from Texas, well, I was all fishing an extra couple days. Fished for three days, had a blast, and we've been doing it for a week ever since. Catfish Ken, the man, not the myth. <laughs> I took him, the first time fishing was about five. We lived in Connecticut. We went in a, a lake, moved to Texas six or seven, fishing ponds for catfish, bluegills, bass. Taught him everything I know, which took, didn't take too long. And then he took it from this level up, up to here. You guys ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm awake now. You slept well? Like a rock. You're definitely going to need it. I know that. I know that. Here, Matt, you want to open up that cooler right there? Throw this in there. Got two for the pinfish trap. Awesome. Case plus two. That'll get us loaded up. Ah. 
All right, what's your plan of attack today, Jack? Uh, today, I'm gonna take you guys out in the golf. Uh, we can expect Permit, Goliath Grouper. You brought your hand line, right? Absolutely. All right, man, we're, we're gonna put you on some big ones out there. Are you ready for it? Looking forward to it. That'd All right, fun. and you know, we may run across some triple tail, cobia. We're gonna do the buoys, probably? Yeah, probably. You okay. know, the, the triple tail out there, thick on those, but there's just, you know, the golf is full. Okay. We got the full arsenal behind us, so we're ready. And you got the catfish and stuff like that. You know, and have you ever had that incident where you were like the ocean incident? Thankfully, no. <laughs> I, I try to be very aware of where lines and hooks are. That way, don't get drug in the water or something. <laughs> I had seen someone on the internet do it, and I wanted to do it. I was like, that looks like my kind of thing. So got a rope and a big hook and sunk a big bait down there and pulled up a big old grouper and I was hooked since. So Ken, if he goes in, do we grab the net or the gaff? Oh, that's a tough one. Probably the gaff. Try the gaff. <laughs> All right. Swamp's main goal is to handline in a monster Goliath grouper. But a close second is to make sure his dad keeps checking off those bucket list fish now that he's retired. Well, like two years ago, I had a wish list, but I realize now that I'm 70, it's really more of a bucket list. Yeah, Ken, so we're, we're gonna be going for permit here. I'm gonna get up in the tower. Okay. You know, anytime I'm approaching a wreck, a lot of times those permit are just circling it. Okay. And so I like to be ready for them. And we're free line? Yeah, so we're gonna free line. I'm gonna whittle this hook, mustache quarter ounce shrimp jig on there, just like that. So if you have to do it yourself, like that's what you want to do, because I'll be up there. Okay. We'll just keep them right here in the buckets. Okay. When we see them, I'll have you guys pitch out. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Ken. Cast out this way. Okay. There you go. And then just keep feeding it out slowly but surely. Look at all that. There you go. Hooked up. Hooked up. But don't. But don't tighten it too hard. Okay. Okay. Lift up. There you go. I'm afraid you're getting spooled. No, you're fine. You got plenty. Of it's on that right hand reel, too. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> it's giving you a challenge because that's Matt's reel. I know, I'm all confused. I know. That's like trying to write with your left hand when you're right handed. It's not that bad. It doesn't work so well. Good job, Ken. You're doing great. I just hope that Goliath don't eat him. This guy's got a personality. Yeah, we're going to change your name to Permit Ken now. Well, let's get him in the boat first, coach. Keep going real hard, faster. He's coming at you. He thought he'd get an easy breakfast. You need a hand? No. Go forwards at him. So I'm going to turn you. OK, Ken, you can walk to the bow. Got him on light tackle. He's taking a lot of line. Got to chase him down. We just showed up, first cast. Catfish Ken got hooked up. Okay, get ready. Lift, Ken. All right, good job, guys. All right, nice. touchdown. First fish of the day, first cast. Good job, Matt. You want me out there, Mr. Permit. Uh, We're put him on the high G. <laughs> Two calls. Way to go. Hooked up, get wet. Hey, Permit, Ken, you gonna come over here and take your picture? Yes, sir, I was getting All right, let's do it. Of. <laughs> made you fight with your right hand. Oh, yeah. yeah We're I'm hurrying you up to make you famous. I, I work out specifically to, you know. Yeah, to do that, and then and then we and then we switch you. Yeah. Perfect fish right ready. on. You ready? Ready. This is exciting. Nice. Put it in portrait mode. Oh. Got it. You ready to let it go? Yeah. This segment was brought to you by Mercury Marine. Mercury Marine, go boldly. Ready for the fishing adventure of a lifetime? Then join Captain Jack and the crew at TwoConksGear.com. Go to TwoConksGear.com and get the swag, get the apparel. Get yourself booked to go fishing in the Florida Keys with your favorite Two Conks captain. And just maybe, get yourself on an upcoming episode of Two Conks Sport Fishing TV. Get it all and book the fishing adventure of a lifetime at twoconksgear.com. Twoconksgear.com. This segment is brought to you by Mustad. Oh, monster. All right, nice fish. 
Repeat customers Matt and his dad Ken just made their first cast and landed a nice permit for Catfish Ken's bucket list expedition. Captain Jax decided to anchor at the wreck, giving Matt a chance to target Goliath Grouper on his handline rig and his dad to try and check another fish off his bucket list. Ready to do this? You gonna ready. get that hand line out? I'm ready. All right, well, if you wanna go grab it, Ken, I got you on a demon circle hook with a knocker rig. We're gonna put a live bait out there for a cobia. Okay. Goliath could eat it as well. I got some cut bait that I'm gonna use. Big chunk of love okay. for Matt. All righty, Swamp, let's do it. So now what we're gonna do here is put some chum in the water. We're anchored about 118 feet off the wreck. Well, I like to be close, but I don't wanna be too close. You know, you gotta be close enough to draw them off, but yet far enough to keep them away from the wreck to actually be able to get them. You know, Matt's gonna be handlining them, so we're gonna be putting bait down there, drawing them off. That way there, he's got a chance. They're not just eating and going right into the wreck, especially you now when you're trying to handline these beasts. Just a piece of half inch twisted uh, hardware store rope through a little uh, loop in there and then some more hardware store stainless links in there. We'll attach our leader to that. Lower it down and you got the rope down there. If you got a live bait, you can kind of feel it kicking. If you just have dead bait, you'll just kind of feel it there. The rope just kind of goes sideways <laughs> and then it's just a tug of war. You got these must add circle hooks, 20-0 size. It's a 3960DT. Took a little hand file, filed off the barb and keep these fish alive and get them released easy. These, these hooks are strong enough to handle it. We got some ballyhoo coming up here in the chum slick, so I'm gonna get my cast net ready. We're gonna give it a launch right out there. Uh, yeah, red, white, and blue, baby. That's cool. America. America. Here we go. Yeah. Ballyhoo! All right, got some fresh bait. Definitely want to put these on a hook and get them down there. It's all about that red, white, and blue. Got them blue back ballyhoo. Voila. Once again, a dollar each in my bait shop. These cast nets will save you money. You know. Ah. Let's see this. With this Connolly rod, if that Goliath eats this, you have a good chance of catching them. So we're gonna throw him right over there where we had that other strike. Because we know that wreck's right off this side of us. So we'll let that sink down. Get to the bottom, drag set. Yep, 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 yep. I think it's the right one that we wanted, the big Goliath. We upgraded our tackle, like grab a seat right there if you want. There you go. You got a big catfish on there, Ken? Uh, I got something. Yeah, there you go, wind on him, wind on him. There you go, he's taking you, he's taking you. There you go, nice, pretty work. He's not huge. Yeah, he's not huge, but that's comparatively speaking. Yeah, that's true for me. You know, it's not big. He may only be a 40 or 50 pound fish. <laughs> Matt, you want your dad to hook this fish on your line? We could use it for bait. <laughs> yeah, we can use it for bait. Matt's gonna use your fish for bait. I, that's fine with me. That's fine with me. <laughs> Some people's trophy are other people's bait. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah, he's digging. Does this, this fish know I'm old? <laughs> Doesn't this fish know I'm old? <laughs> I don't think he has a clue. You got him beat. I see color. I got color right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a monster. It's a monster. Holy crow, look at the size of that sucker. All right. Got him. Whoa. Nice fish. But look at that hook set. Right there in his mouth, boy. Right in the top upper lip. Tried to get it. Just that knocker rig, that 8 mustad. Ken, you want to jump in and get your picture with it? No way, there's sharks out here. No way, there's sharks out here. <laughs> I saw some guy doing that. Doesn't he know what's coming to that chum? See, small fish to you. Imagine that being a freshwater bass. Yeah. Right, perfect. There we go. All right, you good for a few minutes? Yeah, I need a record. <laughs> After that one, you deserve it. You got that big permit, you got that Goliath, you deserve a rest. Ready for the fishing adventure of a lifetime? Then join Captain Jack and the crew at TwoConksGear.com. Go to TwoConksGear.com and get the swag, get the apparel, get yourself booked to go fishing in the Florida Keys with your favorite Two Conks captain, and just maybe, 
Get yourself on an upcoming episode of Tucon Sport Fishing TV. Get it all and book the fishing adventure of a lifetime at tuconxgear.com. Tuconxgear.com. Tucon Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Must add. Furuno Marine Electronics. Demand the best. Onboard Bandit. Always wear protection. And Beach Marine Products. The world's finest bait pen systems. This segment is brought to you by Onboard Bandit. Onboard Bandit. Always wear protection. Pressure's on to see if Matt can successfully land a Goliath grouper by hand line. His dad just landed a good 40 pounder by way of a Connolly rod, raising the bar for today's charter. Hey, I'm glad you caught that little one on that light tackle. That wouldn't have been no fun on this rope tackle, a rope class. <laughs> rope class tackle, uh, love it. That wore me out. There you go, there you go, there you go, the back one, Ken. Oh, look, well, he just jumped. Shark. Shark. No, Cobia. Was it? Keep reeling, keep reeling. J j just reel, Ken. Okay. Watch out, watch out, move. Oh, oh, that's a big one. That might be my, my first keeper size. First keeper size, Cobia. Come on up and over. All right. Whoa. Got him in. Got him in. Coming in. Coming in, bloody. Bloody mess. Woo! Stay in the boat! <laughs> Catfish Ken! Right. You did it! Yeah, finally! Man! A little bit of blood here and there. Yeah. Now, I've caught Kobe before, but never a keeper. Man, pretty work. That was good. That was good. Oh, I think kicked your ass and mine. Clean up on aisle one. What's this here? Oh. Never ceases to amaze me. Oh. Matt. Yeah. Did, now, what'd you do with your line? I just I put it in the rod holder. Which one? Uh, this one right here by my dad. The one attached to the radar? It might be. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We got it. <laughs> the little fish stole all my bait. Well, after all this chaos, we decided to check the bottom rod, and our chunk bait didn't. It was gone. So now we're going to take this live blue runner Put him on this hook. We're gonna turn him into a green jogger and put him down on the bottom. There you go. Let it rip. Just as Captain Jack figured, they didn't have to let the fresh live bait soak for more than a minute before the hand line got ahead. Hand line, hand line, hand line. Here we go, here we go, Zach. Okay. Come here! You still got him? There he is, right here. Look at this. Ready for the fishing adventure of a lifetime? Then join Captain Jack and the crew at TwoConksGear.com. Go to TwoConksGear.com and get the swag. Get the apparel. Get yourself booked to go fishing in the Florida Keys with your favorite Two Conks captain. And just maybe, get yourself on an upcoming episode of Two Conks Sport Fishing TV. Get it all and book the fishing adventure of a lifetime at TwoConksGear.com. TwoConksGear.com. Closed captioning is brought to you by Furuno Marine Electronics. We may have birds up here. All these little marks are gonna be birds. We got two birds working here. Oh, nice dolphin, nice dolphin. All right, got him! Furuno Marine Electronics, demand the best. After dropping down a fresh bait, Swamp's main goal of hand lining a Goliath grouper is now within reach. Hand line, hand line, hand line. Sit right here. All right, come here! You still got him? There he is, right here. Look at this. No mat for Matt. How long did that take? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we got him. Look at him. Matt got him in less than in, in, at least 20 seconds. That's insane. <laughs> oh, that's a big fish, too. Nice. Pretty work, brother. Nice. Now look how long it took him on rod and reel compared uh -huh. to hand line. Yeah. Well, it's incredible. Hand line 
and, and, and mat line. Yeah, true. You know, there's yeah. Yeah, different like things. Yeah. If I'm hand lining, you're hand lining it. Yeah, you see my feet. I, it I could be different. All the drag on them with this. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You put the heat on them. All right, well, let's release the beast. You gotta get your This is that barbless hook, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just as simple as that. You're like, all right. Whoa. <laughs> Done that before. I seen him. It was coming at me. Slap in the face. Not this time. Well, I think we're gonna go look for some triple tail. We've been spotting a few out here on the buoys. And I think it's a good eating fish. Some that is it takes a lot of skill to go after these fish and to be able to make that perfect cast. So I think that's what we're gonna go try and do right now. And sight fishing is fun. And that's exactly how a day can go down here with two conks charters. Bring it in front of them. There you go. Got him hooked up. Oh, that's a good one. That was there easy you one. go. <laughs> After landing everything you came to target, you get to sight cast triple tail in aquamarine water. Limiting out on this tasty fish before heading in to throw it all on the grill. Well, at least for the client. Jack still has calls to make and boats to clean. You can tell when you get back into cell service, all the text messages. messages. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that. Under all these text messages, voicemails, missed calls. You're a popular guy. Out of all the calls Jack was needing to get back to, there was one that could not wait till he got to the dock. His son, Captain Austin, has had the 39-foot yellowfin pulled for maintenance, and Jack is not sure the marina will have it back in the water before tomorrow when more clients are arriving. Yo, what's, what's going on? Uh, what's the word on your boat? Uh, they should be done by the end of the day, and um, they're getting the side of the hull done too. No, I, I know that. You know, the outside's done. Yeah, but the have, have you... will be done by the end of the day. Okay, but you know, are they putting it in the water? Yes, they will. You got to make sure you get it in there. You got to get them fishing. You got to stay on them. Yeah, no, the boat will be, the boat will be done by the end of the day. I'll bring it around. All right, well, now let me know when you splash and get on there, because all right, all right you'll call them and then and then call me back and let me know it's handled. All right. All right, thank you. All right, goodbye. Yep. Captain Austin is Captain Jack's oldest son, and they each have their own unique way of doing things. I tell you what, he needs to slow down. He's got a lot of stuff going on, but I mean, he's hard on us because he wants to see us do good. But sometimes, boy, but I always look at it you know, if you're not bumping heads with your dad, you're probably not doing something right in the business. So there's, there's always gonna be something to fight over. <laughs> the next day comes and all the boats are back in the water fishing more clients. Matt and Ken are going to be staying down here for another week aboard other yellow fins in the fleet. While Jack tends to a new group of guys coming in from West Virginia. And things really heat up as Captain Jack has a complete multi-day tournament to host. All coming up next week on Tucock Sport Fishing TV.